it in a really elegant way that doesn't use any uh, uh, toxic chemicals or, or uh, polluting chemicals anywhere in any of the materials or systems in the building. To me, the exciting opportunity the Sustainability Center represents is to bring people together around opportunities, around problems, around issues they can collaborate to solve. So the building itself is a symbol of that, but the really exciting part to me is how it brings diverse players together to really think about we move the sustainability agenda forward. We want a legacy building, so we want to see something iconic. We want it truly to meet the living building challenge because we think that's a tremendous opportunity for Portland to create a scale building that's never been done before and we want a building in which the occupants are truly embedded into the design concepts of the building so it's not a building that's been designed and then the occupants have to adapt simply to it but more that it's a building that takes into account the occupants behavior and what it is that they need to function the living building challenge lays out some pretty um, uh my, again, mind-opening parameters. You want it to be zero net energy, zero net water, things like that. Um, so really what you're thinking about is how do you create a space which has, um, well, ideally a restorative impact on the environment, you know, one where we're not using up resources and wasting them, but really a space that gives back to the community, both the natural community, uh, to the community in terms of energy and water, but also gives back to the community in terms of creativity. We want to demonstrate that buildings can live in harmony with the planet. So, you know, where we get the materials and how much the uh, materials we use and figuring out how systems and materials do more than one thing. Um, you know, so you, the idea is to make it simpler and more elegant. I don't know if everybody knows, but the design team is actually made up of a m multiple different firms. On the architectural level, we have a couple of two different architecture firms working together. On the mechanical engineering side, we have three mechanical engineering firms that are involved. And what has been really remarkable to me in this process is seeing how fluidly those those groups have worked together. So these um, companies that are normally competitors have been around the table generating ideas in a very collaborative way um, that's been really exciting. And you look around the table and at points I was just thinking, wow, you know, I would never have even guessed that these people work for different companies if they're normally competitors. It's just so collaborative. And I think that really speaks to the Portland design community, that sense of collaboration and teamwork. The Oregon Sustainability Center is going to look like a typical building in one sense, but it's going to have iconic features which is going to make it stand out. So as you approach the building, you will know that there's something unusual about it, but not until you actually get inside the building will you be able to witness features that you would not normally see. Every facet of what you take for granted in a building, in terms of how you turn on a faucet and get water out of it, will have a completely different way of being presented in this building, where you understand that there's forces at work that we take for granted. So it's going to be experiential. It's, it's uh, features, not net zero energy. So it's going to basically create its own energy on site. It can even be as effective as putting energy back into the grid. So our builds are going to be a net gain. It's going to use locally sourced materials. That's a very important thing. Most buildings are, are put together with materials coming from around the world, high carbon footprint. What we're looking at in this building is everything's going to be locally sourced. So these are the aspects that are going to distinguish this building from any other building that people go into. As you can see from all the materials that have been generated, it's been this incredible outpouring of interest and, and uh, an expertise and creativity on building one of the most significant projects that I think the city and the region's uh, going to see for some, quite some time. And Sam has been a tremendous supporter and he's been pushing us as a team. He helped put many of us together, the Portland Development Commission, uh, the, the Oregon Living Building Initiative, the Oregon University System, uh, Portland Community College, the city, all of us have come together with a common purpose of trying to build one of the most significant building projects uh, globally in one of the most significant, what we hope to become, eco-districts uh, within Portland State. So we're very excited about the project, and we're very excited to have a champion in, in our mayor uh, who's really been pushing us all, all along. So without any further ado, Mayor Adams. Thank you. Thank you. Well, as most of you might know, it is my goal for our city to be not just the most sustainable city in the United States, which I was really honored uh, recently to pick up the Sustain Lanes Award for Most Sustainable City in the United States for the third year in a row, Portland, Oregon. 
This is a cornerstone of the new emerging Green University District that will be like no other eco-district uh, in the United States. And so, from a very grateful city council and from a very grateful city, thank you very much.